group of companies held a virtual regional benefit concert entitled One Yard. This concert was produced by Ultimate Events Limited and was an unmatched virtual concert featuring the best talent in the region. It also contained an important CSR educational objective in that it was to provide access to remote learning to every child in the Caribbean. Through the Ansel McCall Foundation, which has been established since 1993, the group created a special One Caribbean Future Fund, where donations that were made on the night of the conference, or the concert, are currently being used towards providing technological support, home-based learning throughout the region. The Ansel McCall Foundation is in the process of distributing tablets to ministries of education in several Caribbean countries, Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent and Nevis, Jamaica and Guyana, to assist these islands who have also been grappling with the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on their educational systems. And so this morning the group is pleased, the Ansel McCall group is pleased to offer to the Ministry of Education in Barbados to help with the children in Barbados. A hundred tablets. On behalf of the people of Barbados and in particular on behalf of the students of Barbados who will be the recipients of this particular donation. The corporate sector responded positively um, in the early period of the COVID shutdown uh, when we were very uncertain about what the future would hold in relation to education and in relation to our schools. They have been relentless in their efforts to try to assist the Ministry of Education, not just in Barbados, but I think across the region as well. And this donation today is further testimony of what can happen when true partnerships come together in relation to both corporate Barbados and the governments of the respective um, territories in the region. I'm particularly pleased that Artists would have been included, um, and again, you know, sometimes people forget that artists are um, heavily dependent on being able to travel the region um, and certainly to even go outside of the region. And the fact that we've been able, through this medium, in terms of raising funds for education, but at the same time be able to kind of hold up a number of our cultural entrepreneurs as well for a worthy cause, um, I really want to salute the organizers. Um, and to really say a special thank you to all of the artists across the region and certainly the DJs as well um, and the entire entertainment fraternity who saw a benefit in certainly giving of their time and their services to assist us in, in this particular cause. Are we where we want to be in terms of having the full complement of devices? I would have to say not yet. But I'm very confident that over the course of the next few weeks and months that we will get there. And the reality is that it will continue to be an ongoing um, battle to make sure that we have the number of devices that we need. Um, I don't think I need to remind any of you who have children that children have a way of damaging devices, that, you know, misplacing them, um, and doing all kinds of things, sometimes intentionally and unintentionally. And therefore, we recognize that we will have a need continuously to be able to provide um, and to replace devices for students um, over the course of the next couple of years. But what this period has taught us is that now more than ever, we have to rely on technology. Um, the fortunate thing for us is that most children are familiar with devices, and in particular, these lovely devices here. Uh, what we have to now transition them to is a better understanding of digital literacy making sure that we provide them with the tools to know how to sensibly use these devices so that they don't get up to negative activities, but that they use them positively for education. That we also teach them the tools that allow them to become creators of content as opposed to um, consumers alone. And that they too, through the use of technology, can believe that they can create apps for Barbados, for the region, and indeed for the world. So the, uh, the world is really um, our oyster right now. It has brought us closer. Um, I think that Barbadian students are very fortunate that we've had this type of reception from the corporate entities and people who 
are like minded in wanting to make sure that you know even in this difficult period that our young people are not left behind um, and we are really grateful to all of the persons who have contributed uh, i want to take this opportunity to encourage um, all students who have been the beneficiary of the devices um, you know to continue to use them wisely to ensure that you know you are careful with the use of the devices because people have worked very hard to make this type of contribution to allow your education to continue.